Well, you know what, Michael? That is already smelling delicious. I can't wait to see where it goes. And we are here now with David Yonkai from the LULAC Political Lever. And LULAC recently published its 3,000th edition. Congratulations. Thank you. When I started doing this about nine years ago, I didn't know there was going to be so much to talk about with these politicians. But apparently they surprise you every day. Apparently so. And there's certainly a lot to talk about today after last night's Republican debate. Uh, I know we were just talking about your thoughts when you were watching it. A lot of people have been talking about it. So so I'm curious to know what's your take on it. This is not your grandfather's debate. This was bells and whistles. This was in a stadium. Uh, it was almost like a perfect marriage between the moderators and Donald Trump. You couldn't even ask for any type of conflagration of, of people who were actually together. I mean, you know, the, the Fox questioners were coming hard at Trump. They were firing rockets at him, and he was going right back at him. So it was a good first start for debates. If people weren't interested in debates before this one, this is going to be the one that's going to, you know, catapult him into being interested in debates. Well, I feel like just with Donald Trump, it's kind of just sucked everyone in just because he's so different than your standard politicians. So how do you think he did overall? Well, I think he did himself no harm, and that's the big thing with any candidate. He didn't do any harm to himself, and he was bombastic, and that's what people expected. He kind of kept his blunt theme going very much so. Well, what about early forums like this? I know this was just the first one, but what does this do for a party and just kind of getting the national conversation going? Well, what it does is it has the party, like, separate a lot of the candidates who are going to be the front runners and the people who are going to be the left behinds. And three people came out of the gate strong yesterday. Uh, Carly Fiorina in the first debate. Uh, Marco Rubio, who talked about generational strengths that he has as a candidate against a candidate like Hillary Clinton. And John Kasich. I think John Kasich, by answering that question about single-sex marriage and that it was the law now and that he would support that law that was huge because he's looking toward the general election and I think that's something that a lot of people have really I've been hearing people really really uh, respecting his his response to that there were a lot of candidates it was hard for them to get a word and occasionally has there ever been this many candidates running for office at the same time yes in 1976 the democrats had 15 candidates running but we didn't have cable news network we didn't have the rock and roll show that we had last night and also we only had three networks but uh, half of those dropped out uh, before uh, the uh, primary started all right well if you were a party chairman or if i were a party chairman what do you think as a party chairman do you want more or less candidates? i want less because you know they talk about oh, you know, they have to be tuned up for the general election. No, you don't want that. You want to get your message out real quick and real fast. So if I were a party chairman, no, there's no way I'd want 15 of them. That's why they divided them up. If I were the party chairman, I'd have like three of them in each place instead of like <laughs> half of them, you know? It's true. Well, it's definitely going to be very interesting to see how the debates uh, move along and how the, the race continues. David Yonkai from the LULAC Political Letter, thank you so much for joining us. Let me talk about the tie. Sure. Okay, yes. the tie, Brand New World from the Aladdin movie. After you saw the debate last night, that has to be a brand new world of political politics and political debating. Perfect. All right, well, if people want to go read more of your, your commentary, where can they go? LULACPoliticalBlockspot.com. All right, David, thank you so much for joining us. Happy to be here.